Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and I'm in the grocery store with my son, and I'm craving lemonade. I had to go to the grocery store. And I phoned Briar and asked him if he needed anything at the store. Did he, he was welcome to come, and he said yes, he'd come. Now, he doesn't talk much in the grocery store part of the video, but you will hear him mention a couple of times, you know, $7, like, or, or a price of something, especially the peanut butter. Because I had, when we had first come into the store, I went to the organic section and I grabbed a bottle of lemonade because I was craving lemonade. And he said, Mom, it's $7. And I said, whatever, okay, fine. You know, I just put it back and I forgot to grab lemons to make more lemonade. So when I went to the other section of the grocery store where the juices were, where all the regular juices were, Briar goes, well, there's, there's the same stuff, mom. And it's a similar bottle and all that, but it's not, it wasn't the same brand. And I read the ingredients and I thought, oh, that's fine. And then I read the ingredients of the cheaper lemonade, and I was appalled. But my point is, is there is a lot of hidden toxins in food, and they're hidden under things like seasoning, natural ingredients, yeast extract. So in the show more info box or the description box below this video, I'm going to put a, a link to an article about hidden... Uh, toxins or hidden MSG in health food and even I got sucked in to hidden MSG all right here we go okay so Water, sugar knots from concentrate, lemon juice, white grapefruit pulp, and natural flavors. Well, we all know about natural flavors, and we're going to ignore that. But that's trop Tropicana lemonade. This is $1.79. But look at the ingredients, folks. Water, sugar, citric acid, sodium citrate, modified cornstarch, concentrated lemon juice, canola oil sucrose acetate, isop and all those other nasty, soya oil, for God's sakes. Who puts canola oil and soya oil in lemonade? Finally, Kraft is getting on board. The content of this all-natural peanut butter is 100% select roasted peanuts. Nice. It's about time. However, oh, no, it's not. their regular everyday peanut butter Where's the ingredients list? Get ready for it. Roasted peanuts, corn malodextrin, sugar, soybean oil, salt, hydrogenated vegetable oil, cottonseed oil, and rapeseed oil, and mono and diglycerides. And it says contains peanut. Well, isn't that amazing? Well, that's a light one. No wonder it's deadly. Let's look at the regular one. Soybean oil, corn, malodextrin, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil, cottonseed and rapeseed, same thing. So the peanut butter that we grew up on and knew and loved is no longer just peanut butter. It's got other oils in it and they are dangerous ones, unhealthy ones. And the sad part is, I actually ended up buying the beef broth because it said all natural. And because there was nothing on the shelves. There were many different kinds of broths, but none of them were organic. Nice, eh? This is the Miss Evolfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, now more than ever, our nutrition is in our own hands. Take care. God bless.